If you're on social media at all, then it's probably no surprise to you that the butterfly cut is trending like crazy. The butterfly cut is 2023's most talked about and most searched haircut, and that's a fact. I don't actually know if that's a real fact, but I just figured that if I said it with conviction, it would really seem like it is. I do know though that it has been searched on TikTok 365.5 million times and it's a trending search term on YouTube. So here we are adding some more to the conversation. People on the internet are obsessed and we're going to explain why today. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about this haircut and I'm going to give you some style inspiration that you will absolutely love. Let's go. So what are the characteristics of the butterfly haircut? I recently got my hair cut and I asked my hairstylist if he's been doing a lot of butterfly haircuts and if he could do my haircut like a butterfly haircut and he had like no idea what I was talking about. So if you're not in the, uh, you know, if you don't live on the internet, it might not be as familiar to you. So let's go through some of the characteristics. The butterfly haircut is a modern take on the 70s era shag, which is very popular at the moment. And it's combined with the 90s blowout trend. So if you look at the very popular haircut from the 70s, you will see a remarkable resemblance to its current day twin. Then you take that cut and you style it like they did in the 90s and you get TikTok's most talked about hair look. Honestly though, let's be honest, I really do think that this is a beautiful ultra feminine haircut. It has lots of movement with shorter layers around the face, which then gradually gets longer as you move towards the back. The reason that it's called a butterfly is because the heavy face framing at the front resembles the wings and then the slightly disconnected back resembles the the body of the butterfly. You get all of like that flappy movement at the front with that extra little length at the back. It's also called a butterfly haircut because the wispy layers are actually pulled away from the face instead of inward towards the face, again, resembling the wings of a butterfly. So what makes this haircut so appealing? Why does everyone love it? Why? I think the coolest thing about this haircut is that it's almost like having two haircuts in one. The shorter layers on the top resemble the fullness and the framing of like a mid-length cut or even a shorter cut, but you still have length at the back that you can then bring forward. In so many blogs, it's been called like a two-in-one look because it's exactly that. You get the illusion of a shorter style that frames the face while still keeping the hair long. If you want your hair to look shorter, if you have this cut, you can even tie your hair back in a ponytail or in a bun and then you can let all of that face framing fall out and you can let it cup the jawline. So you're getting like a bob when you put that long part up, which is really cool. But then when you want to have long, super sexy Victoria's Secret hair, you still do. See what I'm saying? It's two haircuts in one haircut. It's like those you know, coats that you can wear on both sides. What are those called? Reversible? It's like a reversible coat. You can wear pattern and you can wear solid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where this is going. Moving right along, another great thing about it is that because it has so much face frame, it works as a really effective contour. So if you have a rounder face, this could be a great option for you because that frontal movement will like literally chisel out and elongate your features in a natural way, you know, without any makeup, without anything. It's like a natural way of contouring the face. So you're probably wondering now, is your hair type gonna suit it? We need to talk about this. This is a real question right? This haircut, unfortunately, does not work for everyone. For one, your hair starting point does need to have some length to begin with. You need the length to allow more space between the short and the long layers. And it's that play of the short and long layer that makes it look so magical. If your hair is mid-length or shorter, it will still look cute, but you just won't be able to get that full like butterfly cut illusion. I pretty much have a softer version of a butterfly cut. I don't have a lot of hair on my sides. So I got face framing put in. I got the, these curtain bangs put in. When my hair's all down, it's kind of like the butterfly cut, but it's not as noticeably butterfly-like because I don't have all of that like tapered length 
that kind of gradually gets longer in the back. And that's sort of what makes the haircut magical. So, I mean, if you have mid length hair like me and you want to get this cut, it's going to look great. It's going to look like my hair. Um, maybe even more. If you have more hair at the front, you can like definitely face frame that more, but you're not going to get that full blown butterfly cut magic. It's just reality. Another thing that you need in order to get the most out of this cut is thicker hair. I don't recommend this haircut for very fine or thin hair. People who struggle with fine thin hair tend to have an increase in thinness at the front like me and that's where the majority of the layers are cut in this particular look. I personally had so much thinning on the sides of my hair that I even got a hair transplant a few years ago. If you've been here for a while you've seen that journey. It was an emotional ride to say the least. You've probably noticed that my hair has improved substantially post-surgery, but these frontal areas for me are still pretty fine. If I were to cut heavy layers into this area of my face, because of my lack of density, I would not get a similar result when compared to someone with the same cut with more hair on the sides. The most dominant feature of this haircut is its fullness in the face frame. So if you don't have the hair, you're not going to get the fullness. Also, if you heavily layer your fine hair, I've talked about this a lot, you completely lose the baseline and that bottom section of your hair will get super wispy and weak looking. So it's just going to end up making your hair look even more fine and thin. It's not to say that with finer hair, it can't be done, but you do need a very skilled stylist who can customize it to your hair's texture. And you need to be okay with the fact that you will lose density at the bottom. My hairstylist is super skilled, even though he had no idea what I was talking about when I said a butterfly haircut, after I showed him the pictures, he totally customized it. So he's like, okay, we can definitely do the curtain bang thing. We can slide cut and we can, you know, face frame you, but because of the lack of hair here, we can't have that like full blown face frame. And if you were to just go in and cut it and I had like no baseline on the sides and it looked like weak, weak and wispy, I'd be super bummed out, right? So it's super important that you find someone that's going to really understand your density, understand the cut itself, and then make it yours. I've said this once, I'll say it again, a haircut should not be cookie cutter. You should not just get the haircut the way that the haircut is cut on someone else. A haircut really needs to take into account your head shape, your face shape, everything that you're trying to camouflage and the things that you're trying to bring out. And it should work in all of the ways to enhance all of the good things. So long story short, find a good hairstylist who will do that for you. So easy, right? So easy to find someone like that. So easy. Okay, so if it doesn't work super well on fine hair, who does it work for? This haircut does look really amazing on thick and naturally textured or wavy hair. It's also great for people who have coarse hair that tends to lie flat at the top. Because you get rid of a ton of the weight, you will get a lot more lift at the top of your head. If you have natural movement in your hair, like waves or even curls, this type of cut will just be amazing because the layering will really bring out that texture. I just watched a video from Mains by Mel who cut her hair in the butterfly haircut using Brad Mondo's tutorial. And I mean, she looked so, she has a complete opposite hair of me. It's super, super curly and super, super thick, but she looked so beautiful. So I really think that this can be a great cut for textured hair, curly hair, all of that. If you want to wear it blown out, or if you just want to wear your natural curls, I think the framing of it with ringlets, like, I think it's lovely. I bet a ton of you are now ready to make the chop. One of the questions that I get asked a lot on this channel is how do you find someone to cut the look that you want effectively? And it's honestly a great question. I joked about it before, but it's hard to find a hairdresser, right? So let's back up a little bit. One of the reasons why this search term is going viral is because seven months ago, Brad Mondo made a tutorial on the butterfly haircut showing a DIY way of cutting this look using two ponytails. I went really deep down this rabbit hole and watched like a hundred people follow his tutorial and surprisingly they all turned out amazing. Surprisingly, I was shocked. I'm such a precise stylist that the whole ponytail cutting craze that happened last year, like it freaks me out. I'm going to be honest. It's not something that I would ever do or recommend. I think it's kind of crazy. So if you don't trust yourself like me, I get it. I recommend that you watch my friend Summer cut this look. Summer is an absolutely incredible hairstylist here on YouTube who does 
phenomenal technical haircutting tutorials amongst many other things. If you want to get this exact look and you're not sure if your hairstylist has done it before, you could send Summer's tutorial to your hairstylist a few days before your appointment. There really is nothing wrong with doing that. And if your stylist is confident and collaborative, which I hope they are, you know, that's a sign of a great stylist. They're going to, they're not going to be offended, right? It really is an opportunity for them to learn something new. And also it's a much less risky way of getting that haircut that you want without hacking it off in the kitchen with your kitchen scissors or in the bathroom with your kitchen scissors. Like, I don't know. It's just like, ah, ah, so risky. So risky. I mean, you do you. With that said, I'll tell you what though. I'll tell you what in true YouTube nature, if I get over a thousand comments and 20,000 likes on this video, I will do Brad Mondo's ponytail haircut on myself on camera to let you know if it works. That's how committed I am to this platform. It's the first time I don't want you to press the like button. This video's over.